Okay, good afternoon. Welcome everybody. You are here in Kibbutz Ktura, so welcome to Kibbutz Ktura. Welcome to the Arava Institute. We are standing here in the Capital Nature Experimentum. This is to validate and to test the performance of several products, PV, CPV, okay? And also we use this it's a park as our outdoor lab for the Renewable Energy Center to conduct our research. Here we have the first stop, photovoltaic panels. They are not tracking, they are just testing stop. Then we will have explanation from the different companies, like Solaris, the Solar, the Light, and you go to see the Araba Power Company. I'll just give you a little bit of explanation about the research that we do here. Here in the Arava region, we have one of the highest solar radiations in the world, but we have two problems. The high temperature in the summer, the heat, and the desert, the dust. Okay? We have a lot of sandstorms, we have a lot of dust, and both of them affect the performance of photovoltaic panels. Heat reduces the efficiency, reduces the amount of electricity you get from the photovoltaic panels. In the desert, you cannot use the water to cool the photovoltaic panels. You cannot use fans to cool the photovoltaic panels because fans use electricity. You don't want to use electricity to get electricity. We have a joint project with the German Jordanian University to find a way to cool the photovoltaic panels specifically, just to put channels, another layer beneath the photovoltaic in order to allow the air to go through that channel and to take some of the panel's heat, that will reduce the temperature of the panel from 90 degrees to 70, that will increase the emissions of photovoltaic panels around half percent. Half percent is a huge amount of money if you compare it with the large solar power plants. It means millions of dollars, millions of dinars for Jordan and for Israel. The other problem, as I said, is the dust. The first row of photovoltaic panels, you see them. We have six panels. The first two in the west, the first two in the left here, we clean, we clean them weekly. The second two in the middle, monthly. And the last two in the east, on, on your right, we do not clean them at all. Okay, and we measure the effect of dust in these photovoltaic panels. Okay? The difference in the amount of electricity that we get, it's like the dirty ones reduce, produce less probably it's like 30 percent, okay? This is because of the sandstorm that we had last week, okay? The final product of this project will be, it's like a self-cleaning photovoltaic. There will be a transparent electrodes that will be furnished on the surface of the panel, it's like it will be immersed in the glass, inside the glass itself. They will use, it's like 10 percent of the electricity of the panel, it's like when it's needed, like once a week or once every two weeks in order to push the dust away from the panel, and the panel will clean itself. So it's better than using the water to clean, it's better than using a mechanical way, it's better than using clothes to clean the photovoltaic panels. Questions? We have a demo for this. Sorry? <laughs> no, we just, no. It's, it's now under, like let's say, the printing in Tel Aviv University. This is a joint project between the Arava Institute, Tel Aviv University, and Boston University. They will print the electrodes and they will Send it to us to test it, to test it under the desert conditions. Okay? Okay. To the next station.